let me give y'all some free game. You can't deal with nobody who don't got nothing to lose. Facts. If you dealing with somebody who, who don't care about going to jail, who don't care about losing their job, who don't care about keeping their kids, or whatever the case may be, who isn't goal-oriented and striving towards those goals, then you need to let that person go. Because you know what dealing with somebody who don't have nothing to lose does for you puts you in positions to where you could lose everything. It's not worth it. Let it go. 28-year-old Angel Connor took a flight from Fort Sill, Oklahoma to Coco, only a few months before her deployment to Dubai, in order to celebrate the holidays with her friends, family, and six-year-old son. The former basketball player from Coco High School caught up with friends, experienced special moments with her mother, and played with her son over the course of 14 days, unaware that it would be the final time she would see them. The 28-year-old American Army soldier will come home once again a few weeks later on January 28. This time, she would be carried in a flag-draped casket that was silently marched across an airport tarmac as her devastated parents looked on. On January 18, as life would have it, Angel's death would not occur on the battlefield, but instead at the hands of another soldier. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Lawton, Oklahoma. Lawton is a city located in southwestern Oklahoma. It is the fifth largest city in the state, with a population of approximately 96,000 people. Lawton is home to several military installations, including Fort Sill Army Post, which is one of the largest training centers for artillery and missile personnel in the United States. The city is also known for its diverse cultural offerings, including museums, theaters, and parks. Growing up in Coco, beautiful Angel Connor was initially a shy little girl with large gorgeous eyes. She adored Jethro, her father. To her, he was the biggest man in the world. She loved to play with makeup and hair, and as she grew older, Angel would practice on her friends. As a teen, Angel was athletic, competing in track and basketball. As a member of the basketball team at Coco High, she impressed the coaches and gained confidence as her team dominated the competition. Angel was popular and was known as a social butterfly who enjoyed hanging out with friends. She was close to her family and loved spending time with them. After high school, Angel decided to join the army. She joined the army full-time in May 2011, and following the birth of her son, she went into the army reserves. She was determined to join the army full-time when her stint in the reserves finished, so she could support herself and her son, the only person she valued more than her military career. With the assistance of her parents, she had been raising him as a single mother. Angel Connor went through a transformation, working to improve herself. Social media revealed it. She appeared more confident in all of her photos. According to her mother, she knew who she was. She didn't want a steady relationship, anything. She was focused on getting into the army full-time. Getting into the army was a challenge, but she made it. In March 2019, Angel Connor returned to the army permanently. Her parents stepped up to take care of her son, so his education would not be disrupted when it was time for Angel to be stationed in Oklahoma. In order to check in with her son and make sure he was paying attention to his homework and doing well, Angel used FaceTime while she settled into her routine at Fort Sill, which is located southwest of Oklahoma City. She would give him packages stuffed with presents, including shoes that lit up with dinosaurs. She was always involved with her son, and he was the focus of everything she did. During her time in the army, Angel met Richard Rashid Smith, a 23-year-old soldier. They would talk and spend time together. She prepared meals for him at her apartment, and he even spoke to her parents on the phone. Tragedy would strike on January 18. It would be a day her parents would never forget. Angel Connor spoke to her mother. They both ended the conversation saying I love you. Richard also spoke to Angel's mother. Less than three hours later, Angel would be dead. Sometime around 2.30 in the morning, Richard and Angel got into an argument, according to law enforcement officials. This argument somehow turned into a physical altercation. Richard reported that the two began to argue when Angel punched him, then pulled a knife on him. Angel would be beaten in the face and head. Family members said that she had a blackened eye, a swollen jaw, and a battered nose. Richard then grabbed a handgun, chased Angel and shot her six times. She attempted to flee the residence after being severely injured until she collapsed. Her sister said that she had been shot at least once in the back of the head. According to Angel's sister, the police told her that Angel was still able to talk and was able to say that Richard was the one who shot her. 
He shot her as she ran downstairs and out of the apartment. Later, while being treated in the operating room, doctors were unable to save Angel's life, and she passed away. Smith was booked into the Comanche County Detention Center on a charge of first-degree murder while he awaited trial. He pled not guilty. A man has now been charged for killing a soldier stationed at Fort Sill. Richard Smith is charged with first-degree murder, domestic abuse, assault and battery, and reckless conduct with a firearm. It happened last Saturday at an apartment complex on Southwest 52nd Street in Lawton. He's accused of killing Angel Connor, who was stationed at Fort Sill. Smith reportedly told investigators it started as a domestic argument before Connor punched him and pulled a knife on him. That's when they say Smith pulled out a gun and shot her. She later died during surgery. Investigators say an officer heard two shots coming from the apartment complex, and when he got there, he heard three more and saw Smith running with a gun in his hand. He then had to force him to the ground. Smith's bond has been set at $2 million. Richard's murder trial began early January of 2022. Brevard County parents are heading to Oklahoma this week, hoping to get justice for the death of their daughter who was murdered while serving in the Army. Angel Connor, who grew up in Coco, was shot to death in January of last year in Lawton, Oklahoma. The man suspected of killing her is set to go to trial this week. Channel 9's Jeff Deal is live in Coco, and Jeff, she was just 28 years old. She was, and her parents told us they never expected she would go before them. And this was actually her second enlistment in the Army. The first time was right after she graduated high school here at Coco High in 2010, where she was in the junior ROTC program. She ran track and was a captain on the basketball team. She had a bright smile and was always driven to do better, to be better. Every Sunday we went to church, she sung in the choir. She, she had a, be a, a very beautiful voice. Gail Connor and her husband Jethro named their youngest daughter Angel because she was born premature and there were fears she wouldn't make it. But Angel Connor did. She grew up in Coco, graduated Coco High in 2010, and shortly after joined the U.S. Army. She meant everything to me. <clears throat> that was my baby, my, my baby girl. Her parents were proud. She gave birth to their only grandson, Stefan. After a few years of service, she joined the reserves and spent some time back home. Then Angel re-enlisted in the Army. She was living in Lawton, Oklahoma, outside Fort Sill, when in January of last year, police say Richard Smith, another soldier she was dating, shot her six times in a domestic dispute. We, we live her death sentence every day. Every day of our life, we live her death sentence. And it's the hardest thing to even get up and, 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 and make a day. Smith is charged with first degree murder and set to go to trial Wednesday. Family and friends from Coco will be flying out there, praying they can forgive the man accused of murdering their angel and hoping for justice for the young woman who's loved, honored, and remembered. He just took her away from us just like that, and I mean, I can't even imagine living the rest of my life without my baby. Now, family is hoping for a conviction on that first-degree murder charge and a sentence of life in prison without parole. Angel's family is confused by her death because everything appeared to be fine between the two. Days later, her body was delivered to the family, and their heart sank even further when they looked at Angel's face which was battered and swollen. They made the painful decision to have an open casket because they decided that people needed to see what happened to her. An American flag was given to Angel's son there by a lone soldier as the family gathered around the coffin. This moment was heartbreaking for the family. Angel's son is still having trouble with her death. He continues to attempt to FaceTime his mother. He doesn't understand why she won't answer FaceTime. Angel's mother still has so many questions. She wants to know from Richard why he did this to her daughter and what did she do so badly that would cause him to shoot her. She wants to know why he was shooting at her while she ran. The family wants people to know that this is something that can happen to anyone because they never expected anything like this to happen to their daughter. Angel Connor, who was in a relationship with the suspect, was regarded by friends as lively and often outspoken. There were no observable warning signs. Angel Connor's nine-month relationship with Richard did not result in any restraining orders or official complaints, according to family members. This was just so unreal. She was so happy with life. She knew who she was. She was focused, and despite all of that, this happened. According to her mother. As strong and as good as she was, this happened to Angel. And if it can happen to her, it can happen to anyone. 
I want people to know that you don't have to take it, she said. Angel's family is now taking care of their daughter's child. Her family wishes to preserve her memory and spread awareness about the horrors of domestic abuse. She never wanted to be in a relationship with this person. He had too much drama for her. He had other relationships, said Jessica Connor, Angel's sister. She told me she was going to break it off. She was just getting ready to deploy to Dubai in March. Richard's trial took place not far from Fort Sill where Angel Connor was stationed in the army. At trial, investigators played the video they took of Angel after she was shot in which she told them that Richard was the one who shot her. Richard provided his story of what happened at trial, which painted Angel as the aggressor, sadly Angel was not alive to tell her side of the story. The jury did not believe Richard's version of events, and he was found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Angel's son was returned to his biological father, and her parents are working to secure visitation rights. Angel's passing was a tragedy and should never have occurred. Richard's decision to end Angel's life has caused tremendous pain and loss for those who loved and cared for her. Angel should still be here, being a mother to her son and creating memories with her family and friends. Instead, her parents have lost their daughter, her son has lost his mother, and Richard has shattered numerous lives, including his own. On June 28, 2022, two years after Angel passed, her father Jethro passed on her birthday. My condolences to the family. I'm sorry you have to go through this. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. So this was just literally on my mind today because everyone around me right now, as far as my friend circle, even people I just associate with, they are um, either traveling the world or like they're on and have great jobs and, you know, getting promoted. Um, you know, just great things is happening. They live in, they're living their absolute best life best life you know what i'm saying so like when that happens for me personally i like to rejoice in my friends and their success and even other people around me because at the end of the day what i do understand is that when it's your time when the time that god has for you is gonna be for you don't ever feel weary or you know disappointed that you didn't make that promotion or disappointed that you know you didn't get the you know the raise or you're not traveling the world at this moment you know if, if it's something that you're working for, you're praying for, and you're adamant about it, and you have faith, it's gonna happen. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.